Now, I did make a disclaimer at the beginning of the video that I will be washing my hair in the sink and that's simply because washing your hair in the sink never hurt anybody. It's only nasty or however you all define it is if you don't wash your sink. You are constantly supposed to clean your kitchen up anyway. Nourishing conditioner. Can I get you to focus? Thank you. It's the uh, it smells amazing. And I was going back and forth. I don't know if you all have. I don't even know if I've uploaded my vlog yet. When I was going back and forth and trying to decide if I should try the Miguel, not Miguel. Where is that guy anyway? I should. I just say I always rinse my hair and give it a good rinse before I start adding the actual product. Coconut milk shampoo. Yeah, I like that. Is it aesthetically pleasing to you? <laughs> hey y'all, I'm using a shampoo brush. And what I like to do is add shampoo brush to the... I mean add shampoo. <laughs> add shampoo to the shampoo brush. Add a little water to it. And then start using it. Next, we're going to go in with the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner. Can I get you to focus? There, there we go. Thank you. Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner. This is how it formally helps add strength, elasticity, Hydration balance for healthy hair. So it has the same claims as the shampoo. So now that I have the conditioner on my hair, I kind of section my hair off into four different sections, not really distinct sections, just four different sections. And now now back then when I was using OGX, it was an excellent conditioner and it also provided, you know, like great, it was like a good detangling product. So I'm about to see if that still holds because when I condition my hair, I want to be able to kind of start the detangling process, especially since I've had I've, you know, my hair's been braided down and brushed back. Yes, look at that. I knew it did back then. way more than 10 minutes. I was only supposed to let the condition sit in my hair for 10 minutes. All kind of stuff just got started happening. All co-workers started texting me. You, you, you know how they go. But anyway, I'm about to take my conditioner out. Shrink it. Like your hair just, ugh. I'm about to take the conditioner out and I have a new product for my deep conditioner. So. When I say like that conditioner was like everything, like oh my god, like I had forgotten because I guess I hadn't used that product in so long, but I saw it and one I was like I'm gonna get this and see does it still you know because I wanted to try something different. My hair is super soft and I'm not sure if it's the product itself or the fact that. I let it stay on 
way longer than I should have. See, I wouldn't have been able to do that if I was in the shower. But anyway, we are trying a new product. I'm not sure if that vlog is up of me actually going to shop for um, new products, but what I did decide to get, because I didn't want to announce what I decided to get on the vlog, but um, I decided to try the Miel's Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. I decided, hold on y'all. Thank you. Uh, I decided to not get, cause they have their own deep conditioner, like the pomegranate honey. That line has its own conditioner, but I'm not too big on using products from the, like from an entire line because it just never works out for my hair. So I decided not to get the deep conditioner, but to get the hair mask instead. So let's see how this works. And some of the, it says after shampooing with the Rosemary Mint Strengthen Shampoo, which I did not, smoothly, evenly through damp hair from roots to end, leave in for 20 minutes. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> Cause like I said, I, ooh. It kind of smells like the, um, and that product was horrible on my hair. Camille Rose, they have a deep conditioner. And that kind of what is what it reminds me of, and I think it's that peppermint note. I'm not sure if it's the same ingredients or whatever, but that's probably what I'm smelling. leave-in conditioner I just broke my hair off into smaller sections but they're not distinct section sections so yeah and I must say that hair mask it was everything oh and again I don't know if it's this feels amazing I don't know if it's Cause I had swore away like from leave-in. I just was like over all the leave-ins, but this is okay. Ooh, yeah, this feels amazing. Oh man. twist out some people use the light method some people use the LCO method me personally I do the LCO method because because really the the L in my LCO method does not stand for leaving I know some people that's what the L stand for but it doesn't for me the L in my um, LCO stands for lotion like a hair lotion or hair milk so we're going to be using Miel's Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk. I decided to get this yesterday. Wait for it. Thank you. All right. So apply, it says, use as a daily moisturizer to hydrate hair. Apply a small amount to cover hair strands when damp or dry can be used to seal ends or refresh curls hmm and then it says for added moisture use in combination with their white peony leave-in conditioner but anyway 
So I'm going to apply it to the section that I'm going to be working with first. Skim and brush now. What I'm going to do, my hair is pretty much already detangled. Look at that. Now that wasn't because I've been using, I've been using that, uh, what you call it, that aloe vera juice and water mix. And my hair has never detangled this easily. No, it has not. Okay, so I put the lotion in and then I brush it in so I can make sure it's on all of the strands. And then I'm going to go in with another new product. This is the Miel's Pomegranate and Honey Twisting. What is it, Souffle? Souffle. So this is how it looks. And I'm really ready for this video to be over, so I won't even try to get that camera to focus. Oh. Don't you just love the newness? What the kids say now? It's the, it's the new, it's the, it's it's the something for me. They always put like it's the blank for me. It's like the the opening of new products and smelling them for me. <laughs> you know. And then I'm gonna go in with a twisting souffle. You just kind of work that. And then it's thick. This is thick. So hopefully it's not too heavy on my hair. Because I know with my own choice, their, um, I use their, their pink coconut kind. I'm not going to put a lot of product. I use their pink coconut. I don't, I'm not sure of the specific name. But it's thick. But once you start gliding on your hair, it, it's not heavy. But this is heavy. So... I'm going to see how I like this. All right. So now I've added that. Let's split it. And then let's twist. Okay, so let's twist. You know what, let me see how would this product would do, like if I was doing a wash and go. Probably not good, because my hair. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, it always looks cute <laughs> before it dries. So if I was doing a wash and go. Ooh. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Oh wow. So that is how that will look. Don't make me change up the course of the video. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, we I ain't gonna change it up though. Okay, let's do the twist out. But yeah, so <laughs> like a pump like the um i'm losing my words i really wish you had a pump like the uh main choice the halo the halo softening milk that they have moisturizing hair milk because this is like inconvenient to have to i just want to like you know instead of hold on hair I wouldn't call it a beat beat, but you know, did a little little something something to my face and you're gonna head out, run a few errands, so some still out for fall break. And let's give this scarf like a round of applause because it stayed on my head. Usually no scarf stay on my head, but it stayed put. <laughs> okay, so let's begin the take down. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, me organics. Okay, y'all. It is so moisturized. Like, I didn't add anything else except the oil to like keep it from getting frizzy. Still kind of got frizzy a little bit, but that was probably because of me playing with it a little bit, trying to, you know, break the curls apart. But other than that, when I got up this morning and when you saw me taking it down, I was like, it's not dry. It doesn't feel like crunchy. And as you can see, it was like no um, flaking with the twisting souffle. Usually these have a lot of flake. This did not flake. Um, the leave-in conditioner did its job as far as being a leave-in conditioner, making sure that it stayed, my hair stayed moisturized. And everything that I did yesterday got me up to this, even though it took me them now all day. This is, y'all, like, I just love it. And with 4B hair, like, our coils are so tightly coiled. It's kind of hard to get the curls to be, like, really, really defined. But you can see, like, in a few, in a few places or whatever but like i said yesterday i'm not really big on like curl defining or anything like that this is just this is just this is awesome for me you know i've been natural it'll be two years in march this is just omg like this is great like i love this so all in all, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried out these new products? How were they? I really want to know. And my light is blinking, so that means my camera is blinking, so that means I'm finishing up right on time. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely in M-Town today. <laughs> Bye, y'all.